one of you, slimy snake. Wait. D don't shoot him yet. Where's Lenora, Gorlob? You should know you killed her. Hey, we haven't killed anyone. Now what's going on? We found Zemo. Who whacked him? She, the demon. She will kill us all. Right. Easy there, mate. My crewmates deserted me, so I will stay with you, but we must get off this ship. No, oh no, not me, please, not me. Them, kill the humans. I shall help you. Yes, show them no mercy. What the? In here, quick! I'm just gonna lay here and die, okay? Kessler, Mal, watch the door. We're not exactly safe in here. We're not exactly safe, period. We need to find better weapons. What I need is a drink. Wonder where Lenora keeps the booze on this. Shh! I hear something. need to get off this ship! We don't stand a chance against that monster. You and Kessler find the power relays and get the transport controls back online. We need to do more than that. We need to blow up the bloody ship. Imagine that thing running loose around the galaxy. She's right. Let's do it. Idiotic humans! They've ruined everything! Ambassador, we must tell them the truth. No, we shall not! If the Council finds out about our plan, we shall both be executed! Sir, please... Let the humans die instead! They deserve it! Sir, please... jobs like this, but I'm not really a member of the crew. Indeed. Yeah, I'm more of a passenger, like you. So, if there was something you wanted to talk about and couldn't tell the crew, then you could tell me instead. Dear child, you have no idea. Your parents are in terrible danger. We all are, and I can do nothing to stop it. Yeah, you can. You can tell me everything before it's too late. Your android is a genocidal assassin. Are you quite insane? Yeah, Linsk, you fool. You do not understand the android was designed to bring peace. This war has dragged on for too long now. The Ekatarians must be wiped out, all of them. How can one android murder an entire populace? It draws its power from massive energy sources. It becomes unstoppable and kills each inhabitant one by one. Exquisitely brutal, exquisitely merciless. All right, I've heard enough. My people are trapped on that ship at the mercy of your so-called exquisite machine. You are going to transport over there and shut that thing down. Do you understand me? It can't be shut down. 
<laughs> oh, I think it can. I figured out at least that much about your Android. It's a simple matter of building an energy disruption device. I can't say for how long the Android would remain non-functional, but at least a few minutes, enough to allow our people to escape from that ship. How long before your device could be ready, Dreos? A few adjustments to this welder and I'll be on my way. Good. Take Sat and our Horalan guests with you. But there'll be no one left to help you run the ship. We have no choice, Drails. If I have to, I can limp back to Earth. Just make sure I don't have to. Get that device ready and report to the transport chamber. Wonderful! With that device, I could control Morta. And I could still destroy the Akatarians. Hold on, Ambassador. There is no way I can allow you... My dear lady, now is hardly the time to argue the point. Dr. Tima, I can go instead of Dreos. I'll zap that thing and bring everybody home safe, I promise. No. What do you mean, no? I have to save my parents. Dreos will save them. You are not to leave this ship. But, Doctor, please. Marla, I don't have time to argue with you. The answer is no. Dreos, I'm glad I caught you before you left. I just checked the power levels for this board. They're going up and down like crazy. Hmm. Must be the hyperdrive tie-in. I'll see to it. <laughs>